For those of you who were asking for it back, it is back, baby. The Manager Mode series is back. And here we go. So the Global Transfer Network is what we're going with. 60% increase to your transfer budget. That's just way too much. That's, that's too much cheese. We, we'll be able to pick up great players. And we want a little bit of a better challenge. So you guys know from the title, from the thumbnail, Sevilla is the team. 24 million is the budget in that team. That's that's not bad at all. So anyways, we're going to change the, the, the stadium name to what it actually is. The Ramon Sanchez Pizjuan. That's the official name for the Sevilla Stadium. Legendary difficulty, six minute halves. We're going to do a random draw on the Champions Cup and the Euro League um, little, you know, groups. And Sevilla is in Group A with, with whole city and other teams like that. Um, I, I, read, I had to redraw twice because the first one, yeah, I mean, it, it, the teams just weren't realistic. So anyways, down, downloading the latest squads. We want to make sure that the rosters are updated, hopefully to the best of the game's ability, right? Uh, but yeah, I'm hyped, man. Sevilla is the team. Why did I choose Sevilla? I'm not sure. I, I said it multiple times. I, I want to manage in Spain, somewhere in Spain. And I, I looked around. I said Sevilla is the team. It's the right team. They won the Europa League once again. Back to back, you know, defending champions. Sevilla was the team. And then what they're expecting from us, it says to qualify to the Europa League. So they want more of the Euro League. I guess they already loved winning that tournament. So here we go. This is just what we have. This is what's in the team. This is what we're working with here at Sevilla. You got Carlos Baca. You got Vitoro. You got Reyes. You got players like that. Very experienced players. What I noticed right off the bat is that you have a lot, of, a lot of players. You have a few 80s in there. You have a lot of players in the high 70s, high to mid 70s. And then you have some young guns that are up there in the 60s. So not bad. I'm liking the talent so far. On to the squad report to show you guys, you know, the full roster of what we have. The players that we also have on loan because there is one player that we have out on loan that I'm very interested in. And he just looks like a beast. So, um, Ever Ranega, I know he's a beast, uh, Argentine or Argentinian player. Um, like I said, Carlitos Vaca. But you have this, these young, these young players like this guy, Sebastian Cristoforo, 69 overall. He's only 20 years old. Denis Suarez, he's only here on loan. He's the center attacking mid. Aleix Vidal, he's the new signing for Barcelona. So let me know what you think we should do with him. Should we sell him since he's not in the team anymore? Um, we updated the rosters, but I guess they haven't sent him to Barcelona yet. Aigo Aspas, um, he's a striker, but he's only here on loan from Liverpool. We have Kevin Gamero. We have good players, man. And Bia. So I'm liking the talent so far. I noticed that there's very good young talent. We're going to run into another one that's... That's a CM right here, Antonio Cotan, 64 overall. He's only 18 years old. So those are the players that I'm looking to develop. They're probably going to get some playing time in the Copa del Rey, not really in the, in the Europa League. This guy, 71 overall, Cam, 20 years old, but he's out on loan. So Sevilla has very interesting young players. On to the weaknesses, though. Two strikers. I like to run the two striker formation. We have Gamero and Baca. Then we have Aigo Aspas in the bench. And then we look lower and we only have Munoz and Fernandez. These two young guns that are in the low 60s. Munoz is in the 59. So we can't really count on them to put the team on their back. We're going to need a striker, guys. So in the comments down below, leave your suggestions for what striker we should look for to bring here to Sevilla. The next uh, position I'm looking to reinforce is the left mid position. Vitolo here is the only natural left mid in the team. You heard that right. There's no other left mid as you're looking through the, through the roster. There's no other left mid, natural left mid. Vidal can't play left mid. Reyes, this guy Reyes is the right mid. He can also play left mid, but he's not a natural left mid. So Vitolo is the only one. We need a new left mid. Leave your suggestions. Now that we're here at the right mid position, Reyes, he's a right mid player. You saw he could also play the left mid position, but he is 30 years old. So while he he's still at a good level, he's a 77 overall, you know, three star, uh, three star weak foot, four star skill moves. He's a good player. We are going to need another one because Deulofeo, where is he? Well, Alej Vidal, we might get rid of him. It depends on what you guys are going to say. Deulofeo, he's here. He's a good player. He's young, but he's only here on loan. So he's not going to be here for a long time. He's not here permanently. That leaves, if we sell Vidal and Deulofeo returns to his team, we're, we're only left with Reyes as a right mid. He's 30 years old. We need another right mid. Leave your suggestions for that as well. The fourth position that we would like to reinforce is the cam position. Now... This one is the, the the least of our priorities, mainly because we're not going to run a formation with a cam. The only formation we're going to have with a cam is the Copa del Rey formation. I'll show you guys that in a bit. We have Denis Suarez. We have Ever Banega that could play that position. 
But Denis Suarez is going to return to Barcelona on loan, leaving us only with Ever Vanega and Iborra as well. But it's not enough. So we need uh, another cam. Leave your suggestions for that. So this is a formation that I'm looking to run. This is the lineup that I'm looking to use with Sevilla. A 4-4-2 formation. I love the two striker formations. We have Gamero and Baca up front. This is the Sevilla default formation. Now, I'll, I'll also play some games with this one. I'm curious to see which formation better fits the team, which one we perform better with. So we'll also use this one. The next one is the Copa del Rey formation. It's a 4-1-2-1-2 or the game calls it a 4-4-2, but look at it. So in this lineup, we have younger players. We have players that are in the bench that probably won't get a lot of playing time in the Euro League or in the La Liga. So we'll play them, we'll give them some minutes in the Copa del Rey, players that we're looking to develop. So this is what we're working with, guys. 24 million in our transfer budget. Striker, left mid, right mid, and a center attacking mid if possible. That's what we need. Leave your suggestions in the comments down below. To get things started, we're looking towards the future. These players that I'm, I'm gonna show you guys, we cannot pick up right now because they're on loan. So this guy, uh, Bertrand Traore, he's only on loan at Vitesse. He belongs to Chelsea. Uh, because of that, we can't pick him up right now, but maybe next season we can pick him up. We're going to start scouting him from now, see how he develops, see what he's working with. And then if possible, we can bring him next season. But another striker we'll be scouting for the future is Divic Origi. He's 19 years old. He belongs to Liverpool. He is on loan. We can't bring him now, but hopefully in the future, we can bring one of those two guys. A player we can bring now and that will fulfill our need for a right mid slash right wing is Jesus Corona. One of Tuente's best players last season, a rising star. Watch out for this guy in the Copa America playing for Mexico. We're going to start things off, kick off negotiations just to see what happened there. They won't accept this, but let's just kick it off with 2 million offering for him. It doesn't mean we're going to sign this guy. I'm still waiting for your suggestions. I'm still looking forward to your suggestions because let's face it. For the most part, you guys are the ones that have the better intel. So leave your suggestions in the comments down below. Remember, we have 24 million to work with. We need a striker, a right mid, a left mid, and if possible, a center attacking mid. I'm looking forward to reading your comments. Thank you guys for watching. Likes are greatly appreciated, boys. It's back. The manager mode series is back. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.